they can kick a gate or lean against a gate suddenly and it'll fly at you at an incredible pace and I know there's been a lot of farmers very severely injured by collecting a gate in the head and I know there's certainly there's been a couple have died. There's two types of people that work with animals. There are people that understand them and people that don't. I, I like to think I understand them pretty well, but they can uh, still certainly cause a lot of headaches. What you do deal with with cattle is they can spook very easily. And when a 600 kilo beast moves, it's moving a hell of a lot of weight. Well, on one occasion I was pushing, uh, pushing some heavy steers into the, into the force so I could do some race work with them. I was square behind the gate and I'd overfilled the force yard a bit too much. They decided they didn't want to go in. Half a dozen of them backed up, went, came straight onto the gate and basically smashed me between the gate and the fence behind me. If I didn't have someone in the yards with me, um, they could have kept pushing and they would have crushed me. You ask any farmer, they know someone that's come on the wrong side of a beast. One of the most common injuries, and one that I've done quite a few times, is back injuries with sheep. Um, because, you know, they're, they're not a big animal. Um, you often try and take shortcuts, and, and that might be just picking one up, manhandling it over a fence rather than opening a gate, and picking up a 60 or 70 kilo animal and throwing it over a five foot fence. It's, it's not good for you. If, if I'm out, there's no work getting done, so you, you'll often push yourself to be back at work a lot sooner than you should and that can just really compound the injury. A properly designed set of yards, they're, they're designed with, with the animal in mind, not so much the operator, so an animal will flow through without you having to force it. It just allows you to just take all the stress out of the situation and when you're not stressed, the animal's not stressed and they'll, they'll do what you want then. Always check the yards before you put stock in it. And the last thing I do when I let stock out of the yards is I set the yards up for my, for my next bit of work. So I know, that, I know they're always ready. And I know that anyone else is going to come in and do work in the yards, they're going to be set up right for them as well. Plan ahead. Don't rush. And invest in a properly designed set of yards.